Hey gamers, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Grand Blue Go, our second episode actually, and I will again have to apologize about the vertical video. I've just been having quite a bit of difficulty finding a good and smooth running screen capture app on my computer to do this in a better way. Um, my Mac is pretty old and unfortunately my PC laptop died quite a while ago and I still haven't gotten it replaced. So we'll try to figure that out. Unfortunately, these videos will have to be in vertical, but soon, soon hopefully we will have something figured out and we will have these Ram Blue videos in a more horizontal full screen feature for you guys because I really don't like the vertical video and uh, I don't think you guys do either, but with that said, let's get right into this. I have a bunch of stuff to draw. I saved up a bunch of crystals and I am ready for this new premium draw that actually just came out. Here, as you can see, it's pretty early, but it's not very early in Japan, actually. It's a little bit past 13 hours ahead, I believe. So, we got two things here, actually, as you can see. There's actually a Superstar Premium draw, which guarantees is an SSR character, but we're not going to be able to get that because I just don't have the money to spend on this game. And I'm, I'm, I'm just staying free to play for it right now. I've only spent a dollar on it once just to get the starter little draw thing. And it was worth it, you know. But right now, they do have a pretty cool premiere draw that I can use my coins on. Which is to get a boosted rate on all character weapon draws. And this kind of coincides with the uh, 1S... Uh, um, sorry, the... Superstar draw, which guarantees uh, one SSR character weapon, and then once this one is over here on the uh, 28th, it will be um, switching over to guaranteed uh, SSR summon, which then I don't know, like I, I'm really tempted on that one because I still don't have an SSR summon and I really need one. And, uh, I don't know, when that happens, if I have the money, I might do it, I might not, we'll have to find out when the time comes, but for now, we do have a 10 part crystal draw, which will get us at least an SR, SSR item, and with the boosted character weapon draw rights, there's a good chance we'll get a character weapon draw, I do really want a summon actually over a character draw, but I'm not gonna wait, um, the weeks it takes. Well, I guess it's only a few days, but... Hmm. Let me see. I guess I could wait. But we're already doing the video. I'll come up with 3,000 more by then. I actually have quite a few quests to do still with things, so... We'll still be able to get some draws in on those, but... For now, I do still need more characters of different colors. And I definitely, definitely need more SSR weapons. So, let's go ahead and do our 10 part crystal draw here. See what we get. Hopefully, we pull something good. The downloading. Interesting time to download, but that's okay. I guess that's the... Oh, nice. There we go. We got an SSR. That's a great sign. I'm pretty sure we got an SSR. Uh, maybe we just got a Nodachi, that's kind of cool. Nice, at least some rare summons. It might just be a super rare, and I might not be the SSR rare. Or SS rare. Sorry. Okay, so I think that's a character unlock rare. Yep, okay. Well, that's cool. So we did get a character there, and another one. Nice. Rare characters do come in handy for filling out teams of certain colors, so I could definitely use these characters, even though they're rare. And it was a super rare, guys. Well, that's unfortunate, but still good, I guess. Jasmine. Hmm. She seems interesting. I wonder how she is. She. I'm guessing she's going to be a grass type. So, yeah. 
Yeah, going to be grass type there, which is uh, all right, pretty good, I guess. Not exactly what I wanted, but, you know, for what it was, it wasn't too bad. We got several characters, uh, four characters there, one of them being the SR, and two of those characters being fire, which we really didn't need, actually, because we have a full fire team that's actually pretty well trained up. But maybe if they fit roles better than other ones in our fire team, that might be helpful. But getting another dark character is good. We needed one of those, so we need another one of those for our dark team. It's too bad the item's only a rare on that. And the green one we could utilize too, because we don't have a solid green team going yet. So that's alright, that'll work out okay here. And uh, man, I thought, let's see here. Now, let's go back to draw, because I'm pretty sure I do have some draw tickets, too, for the single draw. So, we still have some chances here at some cool stuff. Uh, yeah, I do have a draw ticket here, just one. But I know I could get another one uh, from somewhere I saw it. I had enough materials saved up, but I don't think I'm going to go track it down right now, because it's still really early. And There we go. Whoa. Nice. Okay, so that's what the SSR ones look like. Oh, look at that beautiful crystal on the single draw from the free voucher. <laughs> oh, nice. And it's 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 a hand grenade. That's Is that a hand? No, it's a metal hand. Oh, it's like a metal claw. I thought it was a grenade. Sorry. It's like a metal claw. That's pretty cool. Nice. Look at that. She's got Lady Caterpillar and Vera join the party. <laughs> this seems like a really cool, interesting character. The little robotic Catalina, or Caterpillar. I think that's, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that's so interesting. I will definitely have to check out the Fate episode for that, guys. And, uh, because that is so cool. That is such a cool weapon. I'm pumped that we got that on the draw. And uh, it's a water weapon, so that does solidify and make our water team stronger, which is good because we could definitely use a stronger water team. We have a good one going, and, uh, you know, it'd be nice to get even more. I'm half tempted to do a crystal draw, try and draw another one, push my luck, but at the same point, I really shouldn't. Um... I already used my free ruby draw today, but we'll go ahead and use a 10 one. Just to see if we get anything good. Maybe a few more characters. It's so rare that you get characters though in these, so I wouldn't expect it. I think I've only done it like once or twice actually. And it really surprised me. Yeah, nothing special there. But that's alright couple more items, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave those there alone, because uh, we're not too interested in those anymore. And man, I really am half tempted to do another single draw. I really want to. But, uh, you know what? That's alright, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that right now. Because we don't want to push our luck too much and we want to save stuff up for when they have the SSR summon increase. Because as you see, we still didn't get any good summons really. We, we did get the one rare summon, but they really don't help so much. Okay, here you go. So we're going to go check out these new characters, especially the crazy robot. That's just so crazy to me. Alright, um, what we're going to do is switch over to our water team here. So you see that actually fills up our water team completely with water. So that's pretty cool. That's actually going to help out a lot. And we'll just do this. And it'll do it all for us. Of course, it's going to keep these guys right where they are because she's not powered up yet. But there we go. Look at our special lady caterpillar kind of like a little robotic Catalina going on there and <laughs> this crazy girl that is such a cool <laughs> such a cool draw 
So, so the draw is actually the robot, Lady Calip Caterpillar. And Vera is the one in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, that's just so sweet. I love it. Ah, oh, look at that special, specialty gun melee. Alright. 16 hit damage to random foes. Nice. That's intense. Refuel of 30% HP and cooldown for other skills. That is good. Wow. Water damage to a foe. And uh, that's. What is it with this one? Is this last one here? Every character has a uh, fate skill that once you get them above level 45, they can learn fate skills by doing the fate quests that they have which will kind of introduce the character and where they find them, where you meet them and stuff like that, and they join the party. And then it'll progress into further quests down the line, which will then unlock the level 45 skill, in this case being Aether Beam, which is uh, water damage to foe, hit to fire attack, and water defense. So that's a really good attack for when you're facing someone of the opposite color, um, of course in this case fire, being that this is water, and that just works great for my water deck and any water deck in general that's a great attack so the support skills boost defense and hostility immunity charm when first or third ally interesting okay okay i didn't realize that they had skills that actually were affected by a formation like that and i didn't even really realize that 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 staggering actually meant anything. I just thought it was just random, but that's that's good to know. Glad I glad I figured that out. And then uh, yeah, that's that's a really nice card. I'm really gonna have some fun with that. And in fact, I am going to. Which space does this say? First, second, or fourth? Okay, okay. So we will replace the. Bronze dude in the party right here with our new lady caterpillar. The robotic cat cat robotic machine tank thingy. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And uh I'm pretty <laughs> excited about using her. It'll definitely get me using my water deck more. So that's pretty cool. So you guys, when you do, if you do start playing this game, heavy recommendation. You're gonna have a bunch of characters when you start off of a certain type, and I, d I did find out you can re-roll some stuff in the beginning to help get characters and summons, which is probably even more useful, honestly, to re-roll for when you start this game. And uh, you guys might want to look into that. And uh, actually, I'll try and do a video on that, but. Uh, I'll try and do that on my computer by like pulling up a new account or something. Uh, I have to figure it out, but it shouldn't be too hard. If I can figure that out, I'll show you guys how to do that personally. But if not, there are videos and people that talk about re-rolling and stuff like that. So you can do that in this game. It can be pretty helpful. I didn't do that. I just kind of ran with what I had. I kind of liked what I had. It wasn't great. It wasn't spectacular. But like, you know, one of my first pulls and my first pull, I got a... Zeta and she is just a powerhouse. She hits so hard. She's such a massive unit. I've already got her up to three stars. Working on getting her that four star, and then uh, hopefully five stars if she can be unlocked to five stars. Because I guess some units can be. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. And uh, yeah, now I actually have. Five. Uh, Sorry, just looking through the settings. F five gold ones. I don't know where the other one. Oh, that's because I'm selected. I got her selected. I'm like, where? Where's my fifth one? But oh, that makes sense. I'm just being silly here, guys. All right, guys. Well, with that, I'm gonna head.